Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about verification versus validation. Okay. If you are uh, new to my channel, kindly subscribe my channel and view the uh, remaining videos using the playlist. Don't waste your time. So first, we are going to see about verification and validation. So what is verification? Okay. Are we building the product right? That is known as verification. Are we building the right product? That is known as validation. Okay. Product right, that is known as verification. Right product, that is known as validation. Okay. Let's see a small example. I, I want to fix uh, electronic items in my room. Actually, I instruct to my electrician, the first switch is mainly for fan. Okay. When I on the switch, okay, when I uh, on the first switch, okay, that should be set to the uh, fan. Okay. So I expect that. When I say to the electrician, he know everything about how to establish the connection okay? and which one, which one is positive wire and which one is negative wire okay? and mainly uh, whether it should be from left to right, okay? uh, he knows. Uh, I told him uh, I want to it's be in the first switch. Okay? So then uh, he will decide uh, from uh, left to right or right to left. Okay? Likewise, he get all the details and also then going to fix the board. Okay. So this is known as verification. Okay. This is known as verification. That is product is right. Okay. Maybe um, if we are in some other uh, direction, then the first and last switches should be totally different. Okay. So that's why he uh, incur all the things and also fix the uh, switch box. Okay. What is validation? Okay. After fixing everything, I am going, uh, going to the room and simply on the uh, first switch. Okay. I am going to test the first switch is uh, mainly made for fan or not. Okay. That is the right product. Okay. This is known as validation. Okay. I am simply enter into the room and on the switch and check whether on the first switch and check whether the fan is on or not. Okay. So this is known as Validation. Okay. The same thing should be going in the software industry also. Uh, SRS, that is software requirement specification. Uh, they are get all the details about the software specification. Okay. Based on that, uh, the developers design everything and also code it. Okay. So uh, the team is entered. Now all the specification are reflected on the project or not. Okay. That is that is known as verification. Okay. And uh, up to the limit, okay, everything should be implemented in the right way. Okay, that should be tested by the validation. Okay, so process of checking that software achieves its goal without any bugs. Okay, that is known as verification. Okay, and um, whether the software, okay, software product is up to the mark, reach to the mark. Okay, that should be known as validation. Okay, so validation is based on the product. That is final outcome. Okay, it's based on the final outcome. Okay. So uh, verification is called as static testing okay, and validation is uh, known as dynamic testing. Okay. Verification should be done by only electrician. Okay. But validation, okay, when I enter into the uh, room, I'll on the first switch and test whether it's, it's, it's made for fan or not. Okay. And uh, someone enter into my room, they are also check it. Okay. So based on the time, all are ready to uh, check that. Okay, that's why we can call it as dynamic testing. Okay, so in my uh, in my room, I expect the first switch is uh, fan. Okay, that should be somewhat convenient for me. Okay, in uh, some other people think that should not a convenient one. Okay, so they will test with some other uh, switches also. Okay, so that is known as validation. Okay, so that's why we can call it as dynamic testing. Okay, then um, in the verification. Uh, testing is done in the document design code and programs okay that is the entire SRS, SRS okay everything should be tested in the verification okay but uh, in the validation the actual product only tested the product only that is outcome only tested okay and uh, during the verification okay, we doesn't uh, execute the code that is we doesn't include the execution of the code okay we are least bother about the execution of the code okay but in validation, okay, it's mainly for execution, execution of the code. Okay. That is, we can check whether we can achieve the final product or not. Okay. 
right product or not that should be done that should be done through the execution of the code okay without execution we can't uh, find the product is where is the, we can get the right product or not okay so the code execution is done in the validation area then uh, what are the methods used for verification reviews walkthroughs inspection and desk checking okay these are the methods used for verifications okay so these methods are supported to us um, to get the um, requirement specification to get the requirement specification and validation what are the methods are used for validation okay validation is uh, proper testing okay it should be um, have a uh, proper method to test our product okay so uh, here we are using the black box testing white box testing unit testing integrated testing and also non-functional testing because okay. these are the methods used for uh, to do the validation and verification should be done by the qa team okay quality assurance team okay. verification done by the qa team okay there is quality assurance team okay validation done by the testing team okay so testers are responsible for validation product validation done by the testers okay okay that's all about verification and validation okay i hope this video is too useful for you if you like this video press the like button and also don't forget to comment about it if you like it share with your friends thank you for watching my channel and also don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you